Hold up. You talking about one of these right here? A diamond trap? You late to the party, man. Yeah, I've been having one of these. I have one of those too. That's called a bug zapper. Man, all this thing does and the bug zapper is attract and kill insects that don't bother you. Beetles are not attracted to the blue to the uh the neon blue light. So you have to try to put some pheromones off in there that help attract the mosquitoes. This is one of the first things that I tried trying to get my lawn back, trying to get my backyard habitable. And when I tell you this thing right here was full of insects, flying insects, none of which I've had a problem with, butterflies and bees, uh, things like that, that don't bother me. And it, it just brought more uh, insects to the area because of the light. Nobody who has this has got rid of their mosquito problems, hands down. So you know what the best place to put this? In the trash. I'm telling you, I absolutely have no issues with mosquitoes now. Look at all this. This is a swamp. Nothing but standing water. That's a haven for mosquitoes. All that shade, I have heavy mosquito pressure and I don't have mosquitoes in my area. So when I'm talking about this stuff, man, I'm talking from experience, bona fide experience, spent tons of money, time, research. Cause you know, the number one killer of human beings has been the mosquitoes and they've done a ton of research and studies on how to get rid of them or control them. And I use that science and apply it to my area to achieve a mosquito list back yard those bug zappers and dino trap man they don't do nothing for you except for kill the beneficial insects that you need to help pollinate the world